Mr. Speaker, I rise this morning to give a report of the audited accounts of River State Government 2022-2023. Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, the committee has not been able to conclude its work. Mr. Speaker, you will agree with me that last year there was a lot of activities before honorable members. We are our tribunals, we are sent to Abuja, and after which to Lagos. So honorable members have been running around, following up with their court cases in the court, and we've not been able to reach out to a lot of agencies and parasitas for them to come and present their report. So Mr. Speaker, we have been trying to see how we can conclude especially that of the judiciary. We've not gotten a report from them. So we plead that, Mr. Speaker, we avail us with more time so that we can conclude this report in the shortest time and report back to the House. Mr. Speaker, a bill for a law to amend the River State Traditional Rulers Law Number 4 of 2015 and for other matters connected thereto. Mr. Speaker, this bill has three clauses, Mr. Speaker, when passed into law. This bill may be cited as the River State Traditional Rulers Amendment Bill 2024. Mr. Speaker, by your leave, may I lay the bill at the table. The University of Advertisement and Use of State's Own Property Prohibition Repeal Bill No. 1 of 2024. A bill for a law to repeal the River State Advertisement and Use of State Owned Property Prohibition Law No. 7 of 2022. Mr. Speaker, this bill has two clauses that, if passed, may be cited as the River State's Advertisement and Use of State Owned Property Provision Repeal Bill No. 1 of 2024. Mr. Speaker, for your permission, may I lay it on the table? Please. Let me also remark here that we are in 2024 and that um, the medium term expenditure framework for, for River State has not been presented to this August Assembly by His Excellency the Executive Governor of River State. And because it has not been presented, this House has not been able to look at it so that um, the the performance of uh, the government uh, can be in line with the law. In addition to that, the 2024 appropriation bill is yet to get to this August Assembly. As it stands today, we have not received the medium term expenditure framework. We have not received the appropriation bill for 2024. It means the state at the moment is operating without a budget for approved by this August Assembly in line with the 1999 Constitution as altered. And uh, since this August Assembly was proclaimed, we have not proceeded on recess. We have been working around the clock. We have gone for uh, workshops, trainings within the states and outside the states. And we have been performing our duties, but we have not had an official recess. And I think that um, we will need to look at the legislative calendar, the chairman business and rules, we need to update us so that we can take a date for recess. And uh, there will be need for us to look at uh, an appropriate date for us to proceed on recess. So, but before 
I do that, there will be need to... I have to take all of this together because they are all related given that uh, we operate within a legislative calendar. But the first thing I will do now before we conclude and adjourn is to put the question because we are looking at our, our calendar and the time frame we have. Is it in the opinion of the House that we give the public accounts uh, a committee additional time for them to uh, for them to give us their final report for 2022? So those in favour that we should give them extended time should please say ayes. Ayes. Against say nay. The ayes have it. So the public accounts committee of this house, you are hereby given um, three weeks. You are hereby given three weeks to submit uh, an updated report of the audited accounts of River State for 2022. And we hope that the agencies and the uh, the agencies and extra ministries and extra ministerial departments which you said you will invite that you invite them and ensure that the reports to the committee in line with the constitution as part of our oversight functions and please present your reports appropriately thank you distinguished colleagues further to that i remarked here that his Excellency the Governor is here to submit the medium term expenditure framework. He is also here to submit to this August Assembly the appropriation bill for 2024. And we are looking at going on recess. So I want to put it to the House that uh, there is need for us to send an official letter to the Governor informing him of our intention to go on recess so that we will know how our time, of, of, how the way we are going to operate this uh, within the next few days and weeks, how we can align it with his own calendar. So those in favor of uh, writing an official letter to the governor, notifying him that the medium term expenditure framework and the 2024 appropriation bill is yet to be sent to this house. Should please indicate by raising their hands. Those for 24. Against, nil. Abstention, nil. By the vote so far, the House has therefore resolved that an official letter be written to the Governor notifying him that this House is here to receive the medium term expenditure framework and the 2024 appropriation bill in line with the 1999 Constitution as altered. <laughs> Clark, do we have any other matter on the other?